Minister of Interior Rauf Aregbeshola on Saturday said those leading and supporting agitation for the Yoruba nation are foolish, saying they should consider the consequences of war. I don't understand though. People need to push these narratives, debunk these narratives and push this narrative that breaking up or secession or self-determination is not war. These guys are, 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 are misleading the, 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 the people. Now, the problems that you have caused now, even the, the spoken word of the president and his silence concerning those who are committing atrocities and the amnesty they are giving to bandits, the people who are kidnapping and killing and people are paying hundred and something million under your watch and you are not saying anything. Those ones are not causing war. With all this nonsense you guys are doing, that is why people are saying, no, we can't continue like this. If really you want to treat your, uh, treat your people the way you want to treat them, let us be on our own because we can't condone all this kind of a thing. And at the end of the day, you turn around to call them, say that they are once finding the embers of war. You see them? Alec Bashola, while speaking at a Zenabab Hotel, Elisha Oshun, stayed during his 64th birthday a celebration, warned that agitators must consider the women, children, old people, and those living with disabilities who are mostly affected. Now, are they not affected now? What kind of life, all of those people that you have mentioned, what kind of life are they living? Are they living in abject poverty, in penury, or they are living in plenty? So what kind of life are they living now? Because you now want to deceive them that, oh, even if it's that your small, small garage that you are drinking, at least you have peace of mind that for somebody to tell you otherwise. <clears throat> he said Nigeria must be more united, else Africa countries will be enslaved once again. Are we, are we not in another second slavery? He noted that Nigeria is the country that will liberate Africa from all oppressions. Therefore, Nigerians must not give not to secessionists. Liberate how? For how long? See, who are you? Who do you want to liberate? You want to liberate a uh, what is it called? This a uh, South Africa, or you want to liberate Ghana here? At least you don't even need to go far. You want to you want to liberate uh, liberate uh, which uh, there's another country that the uh, Kigami uh, Kagame or whatever you know that is his name. I've forgotten the name of the country. So you want to liberate those ones? Those ones that are doing better than you. Those are the people that you want to liberate. See our naira now. It is it has no worth. It's five hundred naira to a dollar. Ghana uh, CD is is more is more valuable than our own naira, and you want to liberate all those people. <laughs> Anything that threatens and creates a problem for Nigeria may cause backwardness for our country for fifty years. He added, since Buhari came into this country, we have gone back to you know in the uh, 19, 1930. That is where we are. The way Amana they are arresting anybody who is criticizing okay what of shawore what has uh, what is a uh, shawore's offense again because of, of course it's not part of a uh, urban nation well those who are see running after these people because of what they want to get because they believe that you cannot if you cannot beat them you join them so anything they want to get from there they just want to get it from there so that they can continue to live and just be postponing the evil days and that is why these people can have the audacity i mean the audacity to be talking anyhow. You can see them. Shameless talking, Odudua and Biafra is urgently needed. You are the foolish man, Arek Beshola. He knows he will die when the war breaks out. Mr. Arek Beshola, must someone become a slave because he or she does not want to die? Foolish statement from a coward. Urishi Rishi, Nigeria liberates Africa. I'll be waiting this madman mean. Nigeria never liberates herself. You they talk of Africa, Olori Burukuni, Ogbeni, you. Hmm. You are the foolish man. Arik Beshola, you are nothing but useless as it is a crime. Or is it a crime to ask for a right from Fulanization Republic of Nigeria? We are in modern world, nothing like war anymore. It is all diplomatic approach, okay? And now, I know you APC, Crook Party members, still want to hold us as slaves. Crazy man. All of them, whether APC and PDP, the political class, the political class we have in this country, they are something else. They are something else. So don't nobody should be deceived that uh, maybe they have a interest of the country or the people at heart. All of them, it's not only APC. 
uh, sucking the fire with reckless statements. This is one of those who use advice, who should advise government to address the reasons for the agitation. And that is another thing. They don't want to talk. Why are you people agitating? They know. It, they will not talk about it because they know the reason why people are agitating, but they don't want to talk about it. Because if really they don't want the agitation, they know what to do. Why should all of us be stressing ourselves? We know the solutions, but to tackle the, pro the solution head on, that is where the problem lies. The political we is not there. They are not just ready. Forget it. They are not just they, they are not just willing at all. Hmm. He wants to pretend like everything is okay. Yes, of course, they will tell you everything is okay. Hmm. Coward, you must be fool. Are uh, you not part of those who brought uh, a bad initiative to Nigeria economy? When are uh, you uh, when you are Ocean State Governor? You pay our salary to work as other governor are now emulating the habits on those state governor is doing is presently thunder fire all of you and this are the same people who are saying that going to create a, a what's a commission to of maybe they are forming a committee to make sure that say, the young people are not traveling out of this country why are they traveling out of this country there is no world they are traveling according to you so what is what can make somebody to be living in this country this has been going on for close to how many decades people are still running and you think that uh, what you have caused is you know what is making people to, to run. Have you not created the war already? Arebe Raska. By the time you find yourself at opposite side, you will join the agitators. <laughs> oh my goodness. You don't know what you are saying. Very unfortunate leaders. Abba, if your robot agitators are full, then what of you useless, visionless leaders? In short, you are more than full. In fact, God will... <laughs> this one, the real cost on now. Can you imagine? Hmm. Aregbe, yala ya. Okay. Whosoever, no Aregbe Shola, should tell him that he's down for his at hand. He has uh, read the wrong side of Quran and is done for it. Just because he is not a, uh, he's, he's in a comfort zone, he is now misbehaving. Woe unto you as you insult the collective sensibilities of your robust. Who are you, Mr. Aregbe? How many changes hope do you remember? You remember from you uh, before Tinumbu made you commissioner of Lagos State. You better never talk about this matter again for the rest of your life. You dare you. How dare you? How can a reasonable person love a country, Nigeria, where someone have to be a fraud or Yahoo to survive? And you are not talking nonsense. We train our children in the way of the Lord and honestly, Plus, to, plus loyalty and sincerity are their way of life and their way of life only to be useless in the life in the Nigeria environment and you sit down in your comfort office and speaking rubbish we want Odudua Republic now is Israel bigger than Odudua Republic is Kuwait bigger than Odudua Republic is Luxembourg bigger than Odudua Republic is UAE bigger than Odudua Republic Aregbe please mind your own business